Hey friends, welcome to the very first origami review. Now this video is going to be a series that I hope to do maybe once every two weeks or every week, uh, but we'll kind of play it out uh, just to see how it goes. Now um, the concept of this video series is there's a lot of cool origami and I'm just going to look at some and give my take on what makes that origami great or why I like it. Uh, and so one of the sources we're going to look at is actually the Origami Dan Discord. Now, if you're not familiar with the Discord, it is one of the largest growing origami communities online. And it's absolutely amazing. Um, just a, at a quick glance, yeah, you can see there's channels for folds that you can share. There's original designers if you like to design. Um, and as well as this channel called Hall of Fame, where the community decides, you know, what are the best, what are the coolest folds out there and they post about it. Um, so we're gonna use this a little bit as our base and just kind of talk through some of these amazing folds. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, so let's start at the beginning and see what we got. Now, I'm gonna still try to put everyone's links and give credit and ask for permission for all these models I use. Um, and so check out the links below. However, if I missed some, obviously you can come to Discord and all the links are here. Um, and if you want, if I missed you, just drop your links in the comments, you know, feel free to plug yourself all you want uh, in the comments below. But yeah, let's get to it. Let's scroll up. Ah, okay. I saw this one before. Um, this is by Levin. And he folded the Guan Yu. Um, and I'm going to pronounce this one. But it's designed by Mao Shan. Ooh. Very rough pronunciation. But I'm sure you, some of you are familiar with this model. Um, the crease pattern re was released in, I think, one of the SAOC books, and it is it is crazy. Um, and man, Levin did such an amazing job with this. My goodness, look at these details. All right, let's see if we can. Oh, here here's a close up view. Wow, look at all those details, man. All right, so not too many people have folded this. Um, if some of you are familiar with Levin's designs, uh, he's done a ton of reunions. He's really good at um, small details and keeping things clean and wow this is this is crazy so let's see what do I like about this well one you got all these tiny little details in here look at look look at the scale pleats um, and as well he did such an amazing job face uh, shaping up the face now these are just kind of made of regular pleats so there's a lot of work you have to do to actually get a face to appear to kind of render out a face and there's a ton of armor details you can see in these pleats he did a lot of details here um, and another thing uh, with models, at least that have spears or um, long weapons, I guess, is you got to make sure it's seamless. So he did such a good job. Look at the spear. It actually looks like a wooden spear. Um, you know, it's not like lopsided or anything. He kept the proportions on point, gave some character to the armor shaping with some of these waves. Absolutely fantastic. All right. So this is, <laughs> this is a good start. Um, if you guys don't follow Levin already uh, on Instagram, I'll, I'll probably drop that below, uh, and I'll it'll probably be the Instagram photo directly of of this Guan Yu fold. Man, that is that is amazing. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, let's get to the next fold. And all right, I've seen this one. You guys might have seen me share this on my Instagram story. I'm excited about this. So this is the Ryujin designed by Nick or <laughs> designed by Kamiya Satoshi folded by Nicholas Lowe. Um, and as for the time, you know, a lot of people have been inside. A lot of people have been making Ryujins, including me. Uh, I made one. But Lowe's, as I, I think I saw a comment, someone say Lowe Yujin. <laughs> He's been working on this one for quite a while. And it is by far the cleanest to come out um, in recent Ryujin folds. Now, oh, wow. Let's just take a look at all these photos. Um, let's start at this one. Just look at the pose, you know. You can you can notice every aspect of the Ryujin um, in clear detail. Lo is also known for great photography, um, specific, you know, origami photography. Um, he's actually helped me. Um, I've had some questions on how to improve my photography, and man, this is this is great. Um, so let's let's just start. You know, the head is absolutely textbook. This is super clean shaping. I love the waves he gave uh, with the whiskers, added to curl the tongue. I kind of forgot to curl my tongue. Um, Levin pointed that out to me. 
uh, whole thing beautiful goes into the neck twist you can actually see how clean that neck twist is um, that connection joint goes on to the scales i love the paper he used too you can kind of see he's got like a, a marbled yellow white texture uh, paint texture and with the scales it just makes it so unique curls down and i'm sure y'all already noticed how beautiful these four legs are um they're clawed um if you've seen the original Ryujin, um, the front the front claws are kind of in an action pose. They're either grabbing or they're, they're lifted up off the ground. It's a great example of this. It almost looks like you know a hand um, at this point, and it's so clean. Um, I think one of the biggest mistakes with Ryujin claws is people keep the arms too thick, and that causes the claw portions to just kind of look a little strange um, and look a little disproportioned or raised too much uh, but here low he one concealed the transition joint just to make it look like a regular shoulder and then he brought it down and gave such an elegant proportion um, to these claws um, keep going more body the back legs are excellent um, you can see he he did the, obviously the the claws are shaped a little bit differently but he kept the unit the same as the original um, makes it look really clean right at the joint of the toes all the way to the tail and man that tail is really great the paper did a great job with this little color right here and the scales all the way to the end there super clean um you can check out okay here's a close-up of the head absolutely stellar look how clean each horn is all the the smaller little spikes the teeth for the face um, a lot of these, there's a lot of details in the Ryujin head and oftentimes, you know, a couple of them might, you know, get kind of missed out or there's just too many details and layers of paper going on. But here you can clearly see all the details. Um, really, really nice. And then this is probably one of my favorites uh, <laughs> of this model. Look how he did the claws. These front claws are absolutely crazy. I love the positioning. They're, you know, not the same positioning to have their own character. Uh, you know, the region, it doesn't have to be, you know, like just exactly like how Kamiya Satoshi did it. I like to see variation. Um, it shows, you know, Lowe's personality and his folding, uh, just some custom shaping, creativity. Absolutely stellar. Um, by far one of the best regions folded. Here's the tail, just super clean. You can get a close up of some of these scales. You don't even see the sink folds. That's how clean it is. Look at that. Oh man, that that now that's a good reunion. Um, Lo, you did you did an amazing job with this one. Super super good. All right, let's check this out. Now this already looks crazy. Um, let's go to the actual Twitter. So hopefully the photo can pop up or the original tweet, I should say. Um, and again, I'm not too sure how to pronounce this but at least his handle is most along underscore kfjj um and he folded some models designed by kota ime this is kota ime's twitter um if, and wow so if, if you're not familiar with these designs i'm sure you are but i bet you haven't seen them folded this small so there's a lot to break down here um first of all he did these with 30 uh, 29 centimeters for the shrimps and then the lobster is 37 and a half centimeters. So already the shrimps, um, this is the mantis shrimp. This is the shrimp, I think version two. The shrimp version two is really hard. Um, if you haven't seen this model, there's, there's a ton of details. It's got pretty much every single fin that's accurate to a real shrimp. Um, all these little spikes to it. Um, that one's really hard, but this one in the middle, this is the spiny lobster, the Japanese spiny lobster. and uh, this this design broke news when Kota Ime dropped it. He even released the crease pattern, and it is one of the most complex origami models to date. It actually has natural color change. Um, obviously, I'm pretty sure uh, the guy who folded this, you know, you, you can't make double tit or double colored paper that thin to fold it this small. But to see one this size this is absolutely crazy. I believe most of the others were folded from at least one and a half meter paper um, because I think the grid is like 104 or 120 some crazy but wow that is so small look at that 
I mean, that that just blows my mind how the spikes even you, you can see all the details you can see on the underside it Kota gave it an underside there's pleats in the bottom and the belly I um, mean even on the shrimps you can kind of see some of the uh, like flappers to help them swim and all these little details this is this is next level man um, so yeah check them out for some of these crazy small folds this is this is mind blowing that's 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 crazy that's super crazy. All right, so the first special feature um, fold we have is by Yuho, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this. This model actually went super viral on Reddit. I think it had like 130,000 upvotes, something crazy like that. Yuho got on the Finland um, national news, I believe. Um, that's where he's from. And man, is this model super cool. So this is his recent fold of his assassin design. Um, so we've seen this in the past, but this one he did for a commission, the shaping, everything is just on point. You can, you can see there, there's, it's, it's beyond amazing. Um, I love humanoid models. I'm sure lots of you know, and there, there's just a lot of things about humanoid models that make it difficult and Yuho here nailed it. So let's, I'm just going to give a quick, quick scan, um, of his photos here and this is on Instagram so make sure you go follow him so you can check some of these out yourself especially if you want to you know zoom in to see all those details um, so let's jump back to this first photo and we can immediately see this assassin's out to get someone you know it's got such a dynamic pose um, it's not just static um, if you've messaged me about human models I, I talk about how you know a lot of models they have just this straight line of symmetry um, and this is something I've learned from Obelisk's book on how to improve, you know, some of these human models is if you can give it, you know, kind of a curve, um, have some kind of flow and movement, um, then it, it just brings to life, uh, the humanoid model. And so right here, you can, you can totally see this, this assassins, it's going out to get someone. It's super cool. The arms, you know, he's, he's prepping these super cool swords. Uh, he's got a dagger in the back. Man, this is this is super cool. You know, and beyond that, look at the armor. Look at all these spikes. Um, something I really love about Yuho's designs is, you know, they're not crazy grids. Um, but he packs in just a lot of units, a lot of components um, to get this level of armor um, shaping without it just looking like a lot of flaps or layers on top of each other. You know, you can see right here he uses, now that might be a spread squash. Um, just a ton of layers, some middle flaps, a um, bunch of pleats, you know, some transition units just to give the armor next level detail. Uh, and man, this looks really, really good. This this is absolutely crazy. You can see there's details in the hand. Um, it's a 360 degree model, so it's got a closed back, you know, the assassin's got a cape. The dress is flowing in motion. And uh, Yuho, he, j he, he has figured out some way to do like wet folding kind of with just you know some water and some methyl cellulose um and he's using wenjo paper uh and so to achieve that level of just doing this is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal uh you know look, look at this the dagger is different from the sword they both have all these details they're not just a flap of paper um just all this detail i, I really love about yuho's models this this one absolutely amazing deserves all the attention um it has so make sure you go follow him check out more of yuho's folds they're all you know this level um of amazing and detailed um but yeah let's get to the next one um so the next feature we have here this is by a guy i know on the discord as adn so i'll probably just refer to him as adn but follow him on instagram his name is adn kami and hey, it's another humanoid model. Um, yeah, I, I really like humanoid models. Uh, this model has a lot of the same principles I talked about uh, when I showed Yuho's model, uh, but it's obviously very different. So this is his Igris design, um, and I believe it's from, uh, yeah, so it's from Solo Leveling. Uh, I think that's a, a web, web novel, web uh, webtoon. I'm not sure if that's correct. Um, but yeah, just look at this and at a glance, obviously it looks super cool, but when you zoom in, um, which I think we can see from some of these, yeah, some of these photos, uh, they're 
once again, are so many details that are just naturally in the design that really make this model great. Looking at it from a whole, um, I believe this character uh, has this kind of demeanor, but I can already tell, you know, this character is just ready to go. He's dragging his sword behind him. You know, maybe he just came out of a fight. That's kind of the story I'm getting from this pose. Once again, it's not just a static pose. We have the sword all the way back here. It's being dragged by his arm. We have a natural walking position. There's a lot of movement in this in this model. And man, that photography is on point. Um, here we can see the neck has pleats as details for the armor. The neck, the back of the neck. Absolutely crazy. You know, the head is closed in back. It's hiding just it's hiding layers, you know, it's not just box plate layers. Uh, this is a box plate design. The cape's flowing in motions. It's not just straight back. It's it's you know it's like it's reacting uh, to him walking. Um, we have the legs here. We also have pleats for the legs, um, the armor. And you can see all these transition units. You know they go from half unit to half unit uh, transitions. And ADN was kind enough to post his, the crease pattern for this. So follow him, and I'll let you guys check that out. Um, to see how this was designed. It's it's really, really cool. Some details on the handle. Once again, there's pleats that are just naturally there. Um, the mask is super, super cool. You know, a lot of times with the current trend in um, humanoid origami is you just have a flap for the face and you kind of like shape it in like a face. Uh, you can see some of my folds there. It's just, you know, uh, just a flap. But here we have a mask. It's angled. There's a face underneath. It really has a lot of depth. The, ch the cape, the cape has um, fasteners. I'm not exactly sure what these are called, but that's a detail. Obviously the chest armor, just beautiful all the way down. Um, you got a hand here, finger details. We, we love those finger details. Nice gauntlet details. Um, I, I could talk about this model for ages, you know. They're mad respect for ADN for designing this. I can tell, you know, I think anyone can tell there's a lot of time, effort, and thought that was put into this, um, both in designing, folding, and shaping of this model. It's absolutely phenomenal. So what an amazing design. And lastly, I just want to show off Levin's fold again on Instagram. He has a lot, of, lot more photos here that zoom in on some of the details, as well as he gives kind of the folding process so you can really see, you know, how much time and effort he put into shaping this model how much details are naturally in this, um, the face structure and everything. So um, go follow Levin on Instagram as well. Um, and that just about wraps up this episode of uh, Origami Review. All right, and that's all for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, feel free to drop a comment. Uh, if this is the first one. Let me know some things you would want me to talk about maybe. Um, leave some cool folds below for me to see for next episode um, or just you know let me know what you think about this new kind of video series um, trying out um, but yeah once again I just want to plug Origami Dan Discord um, I talked to mods thanks for giving me permission to use it for content and guys join this community it's really cool um, there's a lot of things I didn't highlight uh, but you know there's daily questions about origami you can spark conversations with some of the members. Um, there's always people general chatting about origami or not origami. Um, you can <laughs> shamelessly plug, you know, maybe your YouTube channel, your Instagram. Um, there's just a ton of things. It's a great community. Uh, there's just over a thousand people, I think, uh, so far. And it's just a really cool spot. You can talk to me there um, and just meet a lot of cool folders online. But yeah. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next episode. See ya. All this origami. All this origami. All this origami. All this origami got me going kamikaze now. I'm